Hey guys, just a quick one. Sweat Elite will be holding its fifth Kenya running training camp this coming August and September. An absolutely perfect time for those preparing for events in either late September, October, November, and December. The camp will run from August the 26th through until September the 23rd. That's right, a full four weeks, and guests are welcome to stay two, three, or four weeks. The camp will be in Iten, Kenya, the home of champions, the home of many of the world's best athletes, and it will be all-inclusive, which includes absolutely everything. The training sessions with the squad, accommodation, full board, three meals a day, snacks, tea, coffee, lectures from professional athletes and coaches, and also daily activities to water, falls, shopping centers, and much more. We hope that you can join us. There is not too many places left. Visit www.sweatelite.co slash Kenya to find out more and to book your spot. You can find a link in the description of this video. Is that a marathon scene, Berlin? Check it. Yes. It is. It is. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. How's things? You're a week and a day out from Berlin Half. How's the training going? Um, yes, I ran the Tokyo Marathon on March 5th. Yeah, how did you so not, not too long ago. Took like a week off. Um, yeah, the, the legs definitely have been a little bit heavy since. Yeah. I've had a little bit of a knee issue, but otherwise, done a couple of good workouts since and definitely don't want to miss a burden half. So, yeah, final workout before that. Um, Quick race recap of Tokyo in a minute or two. Quick, quick saw, recap. I saw you at 31k and you were, you were looking pretty good then, but it got tough in the last 10k. Oh yeah, got super <laughs> tough. I mean, um, you can imagine in, in Japan, so many good runners, so many people going for like 207, 208. So I found myself in the like front group in the first 2k and checked the watch and said like 557. So it was definitely way too fast. Um, so I backed off a little bit, found uh, another small group, it's like three Japanese guys, and we worked together until like 30k. And we were on like 209 pace the whole time, but then that group kind of yeah vanished, and some people died. Another guy started started going faster. So I was on my own for the last 10k, and yeah, I really died the last last 5k. So I finished in 3:11:30. Personal best. Personal best, uh, but definitely happy, happy about that. Yeah. Um, thought I could run a bit, bit faster, maybe, and yeah, different circumstances, but still, yeah. still happy about the race. And did your feeling go pretty well? Or is there anything else um, that, uh, you think you could have done better, or ultimately it was just? I miss, I missed a couple of bottles. Yeah. But I don't think that really, really impacted me. Yeah. Um, no, I think just probably, as always, for me going out a little bit too hard. Like the first half was 64, 64.30. Yeah. Uh, at, probably... at that point, did you feel pretty confident? Yeah, I felt, I felt, pretty, I felt pretty, pretty comfortable. You have to say with, with Tokyo, I think the, the first part of the course is, is quite a bit easier than the second part. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, really tight in the last bit. Uh, still happy. Yeah. You had a Japanese holiday? For a week or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stayed, stayed, stayed for a week with my girlfriend. Yeah. Went with you to Hakone. Yeah, we did. Saw Mount Fuji. Yeah, saw the kind of saw the start of Hakone Ekiden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, no, Japan was awesome. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite countries. I think yeah. uh, definitely need to go back for, for a few more races. Yeah. For sure. Is there anything else you've done to recover from Tokyo? Or has it just been about having a rest? And, uh, um, yeah, just rest, just take time off. Yeah. Uh, knowing I would do the Berlin half a month later was well, the first time I attempted a cool down after the marathon, <laughs> which didn't go too well. I like, oh no, I've never, I've never tried that. So I thought, oh, I want to, I want to try and recover here. So I do a cool down. I think I ran for like, I don't know, maybe like 90 seconds, and then, I then, I, then I gave up. Yeah. Uh, but now I've been that much. Nothing, nothing really, just spending time in Japan, taking the mind off a little bit of, of running, yeah. and then just getting back into it once I, once I got home again. Okay, so is, is this the last hard work 
for Berlin Hunt? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's been nine days out. I'll do something like next Tuesday or Wednesday, but just like a tune up. I'm not sure. Yeah. And what's the workout today? Um, today I'll do six to eight by 2k on, 1k float. So I'll probably stay with seven, yeah. which would be a half marathon, 21 kilometers. Um, yeah, the 2k is in something like 255 to 3 minutes per K and the 1K float in like 325 to 330. So not a real rest, you gotta stay active. Um, but yeah, it's like one of my go-to sessions. Yeah. So the 2Ks are in around about your half an hour pace more or less close to it. Yes, yes, okay. I also, yeah. yeah. Because your best is 61 uh, 45. 45. And that's about 254? 255? I think so, yeah, I think yeah. 255, yeah. What's the, what's the course like today? We're on this nice, uh, this yeah. nice path at the side of Berlin. So we're on the, on the... hills, but nothing too much. Yeah, it's a little bit rolling, but it's pretty, it's pretty flat overall. It's, it's called the corner. Every runner in Berlin knows it. Probably lots of people in Germany know it. Uh, we're yeah. in the Grunewald Forest here. Yeah. And yeah, it's just this bike path that goes from uh, West Berlin down to a place called Wannsee and Potsdam, but yeah, it's a very straightforward, yeah, very fun. flat path next to the highway, yeah. next to the forest. Yeah. Um, so yeah, done, done lots of training here before in the past when I when I lived in Berlin, and uh, yeah, definitely good place to train. Yeah, we'll finish this more often, and we'll check out what shoes you're wearing and go for that. Sweet. Shoes. Shoes. Adios Pro 3. Oh, nice. Are you going to race now? Yes, different colorway, okay. but uh, yeah, definitely racing in them. Do you train in a pair of sort of older, more beat up ones like, like I do? And race in fresh ones, or what's your stance on? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Go. I don't think those are too old. I don't know how many miles. I don't count the miles on the shoes, but yeah. I wore them last year for the Berlin Marathon, and then for a few training sessions, yeah. Okay. But they still look, I think they're still pretty What's your easy one warm-up shoe? Yeah. Well, actually, the new one, yeah, yeah, SL, Adidas SL. Yeah, like probably my, yeah, probably my favorite Adidas trainer ever. Yeah. So I was re really happy with the uh, racing shoes from Adidas. Yeah. I thought some of the trainers could be a bit better, but yeah, the SL is it's really nice. Yeah. Definitely you, one of my favorites. Do you use the Prime X in training at all? Um, rarely, I have, yes, I have. The 50 millimeter one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big, the big one. Yeah, that's. Um, I have, but not, not too much now. I feel like they're almost too. The stack is, it's so high. I feel yeah. like it's almost like. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm always going to ruin my ankle or something. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I have, I have worn it for like long runs. Yeah. And so, what's uh, what's Marathon Team Berlin about? Is that a new thing? How long have you been involved? And uh, yeah, what's uh, anything to share about that would be cool. Uh, yeah, so Marathon Team Berlin. Uh, was marathons founded. only or? Uh, not only, no, no. We have uh, the probably most famous non-marathoner is Alina Reh. Oh, yeah. She, I think she won a few medals at Europeans. So she's like 10k cross country. Um, but then it's Amanal Petros on the team, Philip Flieger, uh, the Schöneborn twins. Um, yeah, a few more. And yeah, it was basically founded in 2018 by SEC Events, yep. the, the marathon organization of the Berlin Marathon. Um, yeah, to just have like a pro team in, in Germany to focus on the roads and to support support some German runners. Yeah. And yeah, that's what it's about. We are not all from Berlin, okay. um, but mostly. Or we always meet in Berlin for, for races, for training. Okay. Um, yeah. It's basically that. Yeah. Nice. Marathon Team Berlin. Change sponsored, topic. sponsored by Adidas, yeah. Oh, I did the, the, the club is? Uh, it's like a, yeah, like all the athletes yeah. on the team are sponsored by Adidas. It's like a requirement to be on the team, you have to be an Adidas athlete. I have a question about the workout again. Yes. Are you going to take any anything Fuel wise, gels, drinks, or? Uh, yes, I take two gels, yeah. Okay. Two, two more gels. Let's 
and so you'll take gels in the race as well, or is it just a just for um, No, I do as well. In in Tokyo, I took two during the race. Oh, sorry. In the in the half, where you take gels? Oh, in the half? Uh, no, probably not. No, okay. no, okay. it's probably short enough not to. Yeah. Um, when you're running 61 minutes, maybe you can uh, <laughs> you can store Hopefully. all the cars beforehand. <laughs> Taking one with caffeine before. Yeah. There's 100 milligrams of caffeine in those, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. So it's about the same as a coffee. Yeah, exactly. And you'll take one during. One before to wake up. That's not your breakfast, is it? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we're about to get started. First, so, so st we're starting with a, a flow K. Yes, 325. 325. So we got 325 and then 2Ks at a, a bit under 3 minutes ideally. We'll see how we yeah, go. yeah. Maybe start a bit slower and then work also. Okay, I'll just wait for the GPS. I hope that doesn't take too long. Go. So you're running to the marks on the ground or to your GPS? I uh, follow the GPS. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, 325 and 557. Perfect. Right there. Yeah. Bit of a headwind in the first half. A bit of it, yeah. yeah. But you'll get that tailwind on the way back. Very nice. Yeah, yeah number two. Yep. Five seconds. So you're recovering well at 325-ish? Uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely challenging. I feel like you've almost been run, you've been running part. straight into a headwind for 7k though. Yeah. <laughs> but to like finish your rep. Yeah. And then to stay on 325 pace. Yeah. Definitely uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Well, good training. Yeah. So good? Yeah. He didn't split. Right, next one.
up. Five down, one or two to go, let's see. How's the knee? Uh, I can feel it. I see, yeah. Uh, I'll do one more. Yeah. Then see how the knee is. Reassess. Probably do two more, but yeah. have to be smart before that. If it gets any worse, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Next there one. Alright, one more. Mostly uphill that one. Yeah. So you've got a, a slight net downhill on the last one. Nice. Six down, good. Knees, knees no worse, I guess. So carry on. Yeah, I yeah. keep going. It's okay. Yeah. It's like, it's not really painful. It's just like kind of there. Yeah. We'll ignore uh, it for now. Ignore it for now. <laughs> Few days of rehab after this. Yeah. And then ready for a bit and half. All right, last one. Go. Let's go. Do you want to finish the half marathon? 100 meters? <laughs> yeah, I got, wait, 21.07, 65, 35. 65, 35. So, faster than marathon pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely faster than my second half in Tokyo. We'll have a look at the splits in a minute. So you said at the, uh, in the warm-up, you came in here with sort of slightly heavy legs. They felt okay today? I mean, that's a really good workout. Probably have... They felt... Uh, they felt better than expected, yes. Yeah, okay. And I did like on Tuesday, I did for the first time, like a bit of a faster session, like 300s. Yeah. Down to like 45 seconds, which I haven't done in, I don't know, how long. Before the last marathon build-up. So it was definitely a bit of a, of a shock to the system, and I thought I might feel worse today, but... Um, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Nice. Thanks to the company that always yeah, has. Yeah, no, no worries at all. We're going to do a quick cool down. But, Thanks uh, so much, Matt.